What's up, BookTube? I am going to talk to you today about my Goodreads challenge and how I'm doing with it. That's next. Okay, so long story short, I'm not doing very well with my Goodreads challenge. Uh, I just checked it before doing this video. I'm 12 books behind. So uh, I am in a world of hurt right now because I still got just, what, a little over uh, three months to go before the end of the year. So I got a lot of reading to do, but there's plenty of time to get it done. So, <clears throat> and I'm excited about that because there's a variety of ways that it can be done. Obviously, audiobooks can probably help me catch up a little bit. And... Um, you know, I, so I'm not really all that worried about it. Uh, I'll have uh, some pretty, plenty of opportunities coming up to be able to, to catch up on some reading. But the one thing I really want to talk about is quality over quantity. And, you know, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep doing the Goodreads challenge. And if I do, I maybe will not be quite as ambitious with it. I think I set it at a little over 60 this year, which uh, I've kind of slowly creeped it up a little bit. But, you know... I, the more I think about it, and there are a lot of great books, there, there are great books behind me that I have not had a chance to read, books behind me that I have had a chance to read, but I, you know, I just really want to focus on uh, quality books, books that I'm really going to enjoy, and then as I get back into that reading groove a little bit, because sometimes we slump when we're reading, and as I get back into that groove, I'm going to start to really focus on uh, cranking it up a little bit more, and some of those books that are like on the borderline that I kind of like, and or that maybe sounded good at one point, but not so good now, I can really get into it once you hit that groove, and you can just start to really uh, crank out some books, and so I'm going to be focused on that, but the other part of it is I've also focused a lot on writing and editing. And so those are big parts of what I'm doing right now, especially as we get towards the end of the year and I start to look at NaNoWriMo, which I plan to do again this year. I believe this will be three straight years that I've done it. So I'm excited about doing that. And there, that's a lot of work. You know, 50,000 words writing in one calendar month is a challenge. And so, uh, especially with November, lots of things that I have going on in my life, personally and professionally, as well as a major holiday, Thanksgiving, uh, and sometimes you have travel and you have family time that you certainly want to, to, to devote some of your energy to. And so we'll see what happens, but uh, I'm looking forward to, to continuing to read. I've picked up some books and been reading a little bit more recently. And so hopefully I'm able to uh, kind of break out of the reading slump a little bit and to get back into a nice little groove here as we come toward the end of the year because believe it or not, I got to start thinking about what's going to be my book of the year. I haven't really put a lot of thought into that. And I usually do some year in videos, including book of the year, that, that kind of stuff. So I need to really think about that and, and where I'm going and, and what's going to be my favorite book and to give myself maybe a few more options for my book of the year. And so, and my book of the year, again, is not always, it's not necessarily a book that came out, for example, in 2022. It could be a book that came out in 2021, 2020, 2019 or whatever. So uh, it's just the best book that I really enjoyed the best book that I read. And so uh, there is no hard and fast criteria. Uh, it could just be something that I really enjoy. It could be something I thought was just tremendously well written. It could be both. It could be something else. Who knows? We'll figure it out once we get there. But the main the main thing is just to to have fun and just to to do what you do and, and, and to not get caught up in and, 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 and sad and frustrated or whatever because you're not hitting the reading goal that you set for yourself. Uh, but to, to focus really on good quality books that you're going to enjoy that are going to leave a good impression on you as opposed to just reading just for the sake of getting books done so you can hit that goal. Uh, again, a lot of us are very competitive and we want to hit our goals, but sometimes you got to focus on the fact that quality, especially with a reading experience, and especially for me, quality is going to be more important than quantity every single time. I hope it is that way for you, but if it's not, you can certainly let me know. With it, that's it. So uh, thanks for tuning in on this video and look forward to more videos here on the channel.